Shine on you crazy daisies. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel here where we're, do, we're taking a look at some of the dead daisies today. This is for Ismail. And he put it in the comments and he said, you got to check out the new video, Shine On. I've also learned from the comments below in my Dead Daisies video. We did a, a Dead Daisies song, and I can't remember right now what it was, but uh, a few weeks ago on the first listens. That's songs that I put up every Sunday. Songs I haven't heard before, we check them out on Sunday. So please tune in for that. Uh, but uh, I learned that Glenn Hughes is 70 years old. And he's still sounded pretty damn good. If it's any, if this shine on is in comparison to the song that we did last time, because I remember really liking it, uh, we're in for something. Now I'm seeing a still image here, and it looks like wave files. It looks like Pro Tools computer, and they're in the recording studio. Sometimes this is a nice and cheap and easy way to make a video. As you go, we're going to have our friend Robert come in, and he's going to film everything we're doing for this song in the studio. We're going to splice it. We're going to dice it. We're going to put it together with perhaps maybe a, a splash of a live performance, and that's going to be our music video for the YouTubes. So we're going to get into this. I haven't heard Shine On, uh, but I do know that I like me some Dead Daisies. So let's do it right here, right now. This is the channel changer takes us into the world, Ismail. It takes us deep into the world, the recording studio world of the Dead Daisies and their song Shine On. Are you ready? Let's do it. Hot potatoes. See, they're even going in the door. It's astounding. Let's do the time warp again. Yeah, it's sounding heavier. I mean, heavy. Oh, he's got the words. Cut himself, Rock. Got yeah, some old rockers. On my way to Pornhub. Oh, there you go. Huh. Are they going to show them going down the street to get tacos at the place? Boy, sounds great. He's on his way to find the alchemist. There they are. What's that fella's name? He's in a lot of good bands too. Is his name? Why do I want to say his name's Doug? So bad with names. Nice tattoo though. Give the drummer song. There's no time. Great. Boom, boom, rock it, big 
Hey, um, did, did, uh, have they had a lot of singers in this band? Why do I, th I want to say that John Karabi was in there at some time. I'm digging this stuff. Can the, the, uh, I don't know that I've gotten too far into the, de the dead daisies, uh, the, de the, de the, de the, de the, the dead daisies, uh, stuff with uh, other people. I just know this kind of newer material. So I'm digging it. I'm saying, keep this together. Nice, heavy, kind of a sludge to it, but it's got a soulful feel in the vocal and it's got kind of a, uh, no, I, I don't even want to say a southern kind of st slang to it, but uh, I mean, it's good. That was a very catchy kind of heavy, good song, wouldn't you say? Well, good news for you is the most important part of my videos is where you get in the comments below and tell me exactly what you thought of that. You say, Shane, I'll be the goddamn judge of that. Don't you go saying that you think the Dead Daisy Shine On's a good song, because I'm the judge here, and I'll tell you exactly what I think it is, because you have no right to say something is good when I um, have the right way to say it. So do that, please. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, I am a huge fan of the Dead Daisies. I love them so much that I've got a tattoo of them on my body. I love this music. I love every album that they've put out. Can you please tell me if John Karabi was in there or making fibs? Can you tell me that guitar player's name? Why do I want to say Doug Aldridge? Is that wrong or right? Um, All-time favorite songs from the band, have you seen them live? Were you one of those people that were in that audience that night and you saw that live before your eyes and you said, hot potatoes, that was good. And then you went back and you got yourself a pretzel and a nice big Coca-Cola and you left the concert going, I'm famished, I'm hungry, this pretzel is delicious and the dead daisies kicked my ass. Or you could say, not good, not great, Shane. It was an okay song. It was nice and straightforward. It had the, the choruses and the bridges and, the, and all that in there. And it was a perfectly fine song. It's just not something that I would particularly be into. I like the heavier styles of music, like the thrashes and the death metals and the grind chorus. So this band doesn't appeal to me quite as much as I understand that it would appeal to somebody else. So while I'm putting my comment here saying, you know, this isn't for me, perhaps above me and below me, there's going to be people saying, I absolutely love it and it is the best thing in the whole wide world. Not my cup of tea, don't want it, don't need it, but I respect them and I wish them all the best in the world. All of that can be put in the comments below. And shine your own in the comments below. If you have a hard rock heavy metal special request, you know what to do. Hit one of them links in the description or put it in the comments and uh, we'll get to it. If I like it, I, if I see it, I like it. And we haven't done it on the channel, I'll hit it with a heart and tell you I'm going to do it if you put it in the comments, okay? That's all I got. The Dead Daisies.